all right welcome back to my youtube channel this is the fourth installment i just dabbed everybody okay this is the fourth installment of the color theory the green one i don't know what that was i guess it was a brain fart but anyways let's jump right into green is the color of nature of course it symbolizes growth harmony freshness and it has a strong correlation with safety and a dark green is equivalent to money so when you see that dark green we automatically think money apparently i'm all about that <laughs> the complementary color is red and green is a secondary color so it means it's mixed between blue and yellow which is our primary colors okay and then i'm going in my jekyll and hill palette in that shade jade and i am putting that in my crease and i actually primed my lid with the la girl pro concealer and toffee and set that with the maybelline super stay better skin skin transforming powder and the shade 95 coconut and if i forget to list any and i mean any product or miss reading product please be sure to check the description box down below after blending for eons, I go into the shade Enchanted and I place that a little bit below the crease. I blended a lot, which I took a lot of that out because you can see that this color is pigmented. I just wanted to get my edges blended so it wasn't a harsh line. And then I attempted to do a spotlight halo eye that is trending all over Instagram and whatnot. It didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but I'm placing Enchanted on the outer and inner corner of my eye. And this is a fairly simple look. I go back in between Jade and Enchanted and just make sure those are two colors are blended seamlessly together. And then I take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and get a concealer brush. And I'm creating the spotlight effect shape. Kind of looks like a T that gets really pointed at the end. That's the best I can explain. But just watch. Okay, and now I'm just placing that on my lid. I'm not blowing that as wide as that top line is. I try to keep it fat towards the top and skinnier towards my lash line. It doesn't work out that way, but I'll go back later and fix it. Okay, and then I get my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife, of course, and I get that on a flat defining brush, and I'm going to pack that on top of the concealer. I did not set my concealer. This is the important part. To make that shiny and make it stick, do not set your concealer but I just packed that right on top of the concealer and then I think I'll go back in and enchant it and make sure that's all blended out and looks nice and then after I'm finished with that I go into my salon perfect 615 lashes grab a pair out and apply that to my lash line all right and then I shake up my rose water and spray that on my face and I know I've cleaned up my face routine in a bunch of these videos so I think I'm gonna leave it out in my next video Okay, and taking these two e.l.f. face primers, I don't know why I keep saying e.l.f. is e.l.f., but the pink one is poreless and the blue one is hydrating, and I mixed them up because I was curious to see what it would do. It made my skin look really good this day, the next day it looked alright, and then the days afterward it's, it was not working, so I just went back to my straight old hydrating primer I usually use. And I actually moved up on my Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, Maybelline Foundation. I used the shade 355. Now, I was using shade 340 Cappuccino, and this is shade 355 Coconut. And I like this a little bit more better because it matches my neck. The 340 matched my face, but my face and my neck just looked off. So I went up a shade, and this is actually working good for me. So I think I'll stick with the shade for a little bit longer. But I am using the same concealer, and that is the LA Girl Toffee Concealer. I'm actually looking for another concealer. I've tried this one. I think I'm going to go back to the Fit Me by Maybelline one since it got darker shades in. And I kind of like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. I've got the darkest shade, but I think I want the lightest shade. But if there's any other drugstore concealers out there that y'all like, let me know because I'm in the market for some new ones. Okay, and then I am taking my... Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 35 Deep and dusting that all over my face to set it so I can have a nice finish to it and not look like I'm sweating because I'm hot. And this is the moment my life ruined because, um, as you can see, that little piece that fell out was a part of the highlighter for my It's My Ray Ray Times BH Cosmetics collaboration they had together. It was the shade French toast. I'm really sad about it because when it actually came in the mail a couple weeks before that, it was broke. 
I blame Ulta, not her, not BH. It's it's Ulta's fault and UPS. I just want to take a moment and say that I'm really pissed off that when I ordered this, I got excited because it was on Ulta and I had a gift card for Ulta, so I ordered it offline. But the shade French Toast, when I opened it up, was already out of the pen. So, I mean, it was... It like popped out the pen, but it was soft enough for me just to press back in. And I was like, ooh, I could have lost a lot of product. And then today when I opened it, I, just, I don't know if it got on camera and I popped out. And I had to press a little bit of can I could back into it. But now I'm really pissed. I'm just pissed. But I'll continue with the process. Alright, and going back into that palette after I, I did get mad, I went into the contour the dark shade i think it's called brownie bright brownie bite wow that's a tongue twister and applied that to my contours it is a very pigmented cool tone color so it's great for contouring and after i'm done contouring i'll go into my elf blush palette this dark one and of course apply all the blush in the world because i can't get enough if you do not like blush get into it just saying all right, and going back into Trophy Wife and applying that to my highlight points. Yes. All right, and moving back into eyes, I go into the Wet n Wild Cold Eyeliner in Baby's Got Black and Tight Line My Waterline. Okay, and then going back into the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Palette in the shade Enchanted, I just smudge out that black cold eyeliner and smoke out my bottom lash line, of course. And then I go back into Trophy Wife because I can't get enough of it and put that in my inner tear dort. dort. Enter tear duck and go on about my business. And then I throw in a little bit of mascara. This is, I don't know, being a description box below, but it's mascara. I'll put that on my lashes. And this is the end of my video. Unfortunately, no outro because my brother split his pants. If you know what show that's from, comment down below. We're automatically friends if you get that answer right. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on my Instagram, Makeup by Bird, my Twitter, Dazzling Bird, and my Snapchat, Dominica Worth. All that will be listed down below. And peace out, good people, to the next video, which will probably be out the same week. Bye.